<laughs> the, uh, the, fa the famous uh, scientist and researcher, Nancy Macri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. yeah, right. <laughs> Underrated. <laughs> what do you expect me to say? Uh, that was the phone interruption. Yeah. Tried to call me. Uh, yeah, so, so my wife is basically a theoretical chemist and really also a theoretical physicist that studies quantum phenomena uh, and, and uh, is a much more expert in many ways, especially at quantum phenomena that involve large, complex interacting systems. And she develops sort of path integral technologies to study these kinds of things and really likes to develop methods that can do things that nobody else can even come close. Not, not something that improves things by a factor of three, but things that improve things by a factor of a thousand or 10 to the six or something like that. So it actually makes a real difference, not just an order of magnitude here or there, but the difference between you can't even think about it versus mm. you can actually do it. So, so, that's, this is, so I think this is really neat stuff. How do you guys meet? Uh, <coughs> so we met as graduate students at, at UC Berkeley. Um, I started the year before her, uh, and uh, uh, I, I think they probably do this here as well. But if you do pretty well as a TA, then they have like a TA training school where you become one of the trainers, and then mm. they have the first years come in and you tell them, you know, how do you, how do you best run discussion sections and, and teach. And so she was the first year grad student, and I was the second year, you know, who had done some TA in the semester before in freshman chemistry, and uh, and we got to talk about what interests us and. And she was like an expert in quantum mechanics, even then. I mean, you know, like in a sense, again, if you have the vocation to become a faculty member at something, you probably actually know it even right. as a teenager, kind of already, mm -hmm. right? And so it became clear that we both had been studying quantum mechanics since we were teenagers, and da da da. And it's like, hey, you know, I like that girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's what you know, got me hooked. <laughs> it was the quantum entanglement. It was quantum entanglement <laughs> in the true sense of the word. <laughs> Actually, in both sense, because there's also, of course, there really is quantum entanglement. Right. It will happen. You know, I mean, we're quantum entangled as well. But True. Let's just keep it at that, though. <laughs> OK. Have you guys ever done any like research projects together or anything? Yeah, like we're working on something uh, together right now that actually yeah. involves trying to do some simulations that we want to do that require more massive simulation technology that can actually do essentially infinite dimensional systems as part of our uh, what we need to simulate. And so Nancy and one of her students is actually working on developing that while one of my students has worked out the sort of few body theory for the same mm. thing. And, and, but that told us that we want to do the many body calculation. Of it. And so we're going to, you know, so that's, we're working on that right now. Hopefully we'll have a paper out soon. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, you can have publications in the family, why not? It was actually one of the things on my bucket list, so I, I definitely That's good. want to do it. <laughs>